Hello Pisces and welcome to Gemini Soul Tarot. This is your love reading for the mid-month of um, March. This may not resonate with all of you. If it doesn't, that's okay. Guys, y'all know the spiel. If anything resonates, please give me a thumbs up. It does help to generate the tutorial to other Pisces so that they can see the readings. It helps uh, my channel also to grow. So we're going to look into your energy and the person's energy that you're dealing with. And then we're going to do a quick clarification. This is not a long reading, guys. This is just to see what energies is around you and love at this time. Spirit guys, give me the energies regarding Pisces person. Give me the energies regarding Pisces person at this time. Spirit, give me the energies regarding Pisces person at this time. Give me the energies regarding Pisces person at this time, Spirit. Give me the energies surrounding Pisces person at this time. Give me the energies. Around the Pisces person at this time, spirit. Energies. Surround the Pisces person at this time. All right. Now we're going to go to your energies, Pisces. Your energy surrounding this relationship, this person at this time, spirit. Show me Pisces energies. Show me Pisces energies surrounding that person at this time. And this could be the person you're dealing with, someone coming towards you, or someone you have left, Pisces. So basically, this relationship is definitely about working together, collaborating, figuring out some things, seeing what it is needs to happen. We could be dealing with a marriage or long-term commitment. We're looking at three to six months, years. Okay, that's what I've seen right away. Um, all right, we are in the stages of the threes, the sixes, the nines, the twos, right? Got a new moon coming in on Virgo. I think it's the 18th, 19th, like three in the morning. So we got a lot of threes going on. Okay. Um, so anyway, let's talk about your person's energy, Pisces. Right now, your person, eight of wands. They want movement in the connection or there's some communication that they want to uh, bring in to you. They want to communicate with you about something. <clears throat> now, with the six of cups being next... It, <laughs> Pisces, I feel that it's one or two things. My energy is saying that maybe communication about children. You may have children. If this is a committed relationship and you have a family with this person or want the family with this person, then it's about children. It's communicating. Maybe somebody wanted to have children, didn't want to have children. This relationship could be coming in towards you. You know, this person wants to talk to you about the family. Um, this person could also want to come in and talk to you about feeling like, you know, there is, no, I'm going to go back to exactly what I see. The person wants to come in and communicate to you about family, children. It could be stepchildren. It could be your children, having children. There's conflict, five of swords. There's conflict in regards to this. Somebody's trying to, to de definitely deal with this conflict. They're trying to win at all costs. With the four of cups, somebody is definitely unhappy with the outcome, with the conflict, what's going on. On the other hand, the um, this person with the Knight of Swords, they want to rush in and talk about it, but they don't. They want clear communication before they rush in and try to make movement in this situation. They may even feel like they haven't been speaking up to you and truly telling you how they feel. One of the ways that they feel about it is that they want to fight for this connection. They also feel discontent at this time because they don't feel that you want to fight for this connection no matter how much they talk, right? With the Knight of Swords in reverse, they feel that no matter how they come in, how they address this, there's going to be some type of conflict. Um, I'm feeling that this is strongly a situation dealing with children. If it is not, then it is a person that may have walked away from a family with children. This could be 
also, uh, you know, and it's going to resonate where it resonates, right? This person wants movement. They want to move in. They want to have a family. They want to build and have a commitment. Now, this person may need to bring, bring children with them. This person may have outside, and you may be worrying about how would this work out, or this person knows it'll be conflict, maybe between you and the ex, the baby mama, baby daddy, or something like that. And at the end of the day, they don't want this conflict, but they want to fight for an understanding or a commitment, and that they just don't want to that they don't want to be in a situation where. They feel like they're fighting for something and someone's not even looking at what they have to offer. Okay, so they want to communicate about what's going on at hand and how they want to fight for it. But they're not running in to give you that information at this time. I think they're trying to come up with a plan on how to approach you and talk to you about this a way that you won't get into conflict. Because it seems that whenever this conversation comes up, they're shut down, there's disappointment, confusion, or conversation just stops, disconnect. You go your way, I go my way, and, and then there's a disconnect. Definitely with the Three of Pentacles, it's about working something out, marriage, commitment, long term. Your energy, Pisces. Your energy starts out with the Justice card, the right thing to do. You just want simply, plain and simple, like I don't care what you got to say, how you do it. I need equal give and take. I need it to be right for me. This is Pisces saying, I need this to be right for me. I'm not going to accept anything less. I'm not going to, you can come, you can say this and that and that. But if you don't have the answers to make this an equal give and take and make it right within my heart and soul and make sure that we got equal reciprocity in this relationship. And I have to say it because it's coming under the children. And like I told you, there could be an ex or old relationship to get out of a marriage or long-term relationship. And your fears is that you will not get that committal relationship because of perhaps something that they have they're dealing with or have dealt with in the past you have the nine of cups here Pisces I feel that you may even feel that this person is a wish uh, a wish fulfillment um, you may have been on your own for quite some time you may not have even been looking for a relationship but now here's one in your door or one from the past. It doesn't matter. You know how it resonates. Or this person is showing up and they're seeing you as beautiful Pisces. Or you see this person as beautiful or wish fulfillment. It could be equal give and take. You can see all this. But there is something that is it's got you sad in this situation. You're feeling sad about it. And maybe you're feeling sad. And I'm sorry to say you have the um, six of wands here. Which means moving on. You can definitely feel like you may have to move on from this situation because you may not feel that you can get this in this relationship, right? Um, maybe you feel there's too much conflict in this relationship or it's just not what your heart desires. But I feel that you have emotions, right? The Nine of Cups is also emotion. Independently, you're okay. You love yourself. You take care of yourself, right? You probably really willing to give an equal give and take, but you're just not sure if this relationship will be balanced out enough for your own happiness. And you need to look out and people's like, well, that would be selfish. No, it's not. It doesn't matter. What we have to realize is people's lives and journeys before they met us was theirs. Now, if they're finished with their karma and their journey and, and fixing and correcting what needed to be did and revealed, then fine. But there is no reason for you, if you've been working on yourself, on your journey, and you realize you want to equal give and take reciprocity, you find on your own but you would like to have someone in your life, then that is your choice. <clears throat> so hold on. I'm sorry, guys. That is your choice. You, Yes, it may hurt. We get that. But if you want to be in a more calm or relaxed place, and maybe that's the place where you've been, you know, and you like, I don't want any toxic turby to come in here and kick me off my boat. And especially if you've done so much work on yourself, this is peaceful energy until you get to the point... <clears throat> I'm sorry, Pisces, where this person has the four of cups here, which is this person already knows there's something because they have the four of cups discontent that you're not going to accept it. And here you're missing them and you don't want to accept it. You thinking maybe I should move on to calmer waters. Now, let's get some clarification. This is a quick check in. But if you're dealing with the situation and it resonates or it does. OK, let's see why they have the four of cups. Why does Pisces 
Spirit guide, why does Pisces person have the four cups? Why does Pisces... Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot. <clears throat> Y'all, I'm going to put these back in the deck. That was too many. Missing you, will of luck, love, and wisdom. Now, this strongly could mean that this person, right, see you as everything. They just see it's a lot. They just know there's a lot of confusion, that there's something they got to fight for because of something on their very own path. It's not yours. It's it's theirs to deal with. And they have the wisdom. They have the love for you. They want the will to turn in their favor. And yes, the four of cups is saying that they're missing you at this time. Spirit guides, why... Um, Let's see here. Why is the five of... Uh, let's do it one more time. Okay. If it's four, if the clarity needs to be there. Six of cups. See if I can get some more clarity here, Pisces. Why is the six of cups here? Why is the six of cups here for Pisces person? Okay. Soulmate. So clearly this person feels you're their soulmate. Clearly they want to be with you. They know there's some conflict around this situation. Some things got to be worked out. And they feel that you're their soulmate and, and they're unhappy without you, Pisces. Just so you know that regardless to however this is turning out, not everybody is meant to be with whoever it is they want to be with. You understand? Like Soulmates come, and I'm not saying a dime a dozen, but soulmates are out there. It's not just one soulmate, but this person feels like you're their soulmate, like you complete them. But they have some stuff that they need to work on. And uh, the first thing is maybe the Knight of or Swords is in reverse because they need to speak up and go deal with it so that they can be there for you, okay? Um, uncertainty, right? And that is why... The Five of Cups, clarifying the Five of Cups for you, Pisces, is uncertainty. You're like, I don't want to give up all of this. You know, this is independent love, caring about yourself, healing, knowing what it is that you want. You don't want to give this all up because someone's uncertain or can't handle a, a, a relationship or uncertain about if they want you or they want to move towards you or they're willing to take a chance and have an equal give and take, you know? So... Let's see, why is um why is this an, a knight of swords in reverse? Key. Well, the knight of swords is in reverse because of key. That, so the key to the situation is to not move forward, is, is to be able to move forward, to have a clear understanding and to move forward. So Basically, this person is just like, you are the key, but I don't know how to move forward. I don't know if I should move forward. I'm afraid to move forward. Um, are you the answer? Can I deal with this? Can I deal with this relationship? Can I deal with you being able to accept me where I am and expect us to come together as soulmate and begin to build? Okay. That is what I'm seeing for you, Pisces. Okay, and love just wanted to jump out. So Pisces, don't give up, right? Love is definitely here in the air. So if this is a situation you're confused, you're not sure about, don't worry about it because love is here. And look at that in it. It could be new love, right? So this doesn't have to be a person from the past. This could be a person coming in. Or Pisces, this could definitely be you finding new love and moving on and actually having someone that you could be more certain with. Or this is you feeling like this is a new opportunity and love to start all over, to balance things out, and I actually have a commitment, but just know that there will be some things need to be worked out. Um, you guys are soulmates, you know, at least one of you feel that you're soulmates, and the other one just is uncertain. So clarity is what's needed in this relationship, right? We do have the eight of wands, that knight of swords is in reverse, so you got to work on your communication with each other, right? Seeing each other's point of view, we're going to need a Closing card, surrender. Uh, surrender. I can release my need to control. So maybe somebody feels like you're having too much control in this relationship. Someone needs to surrender the control so that you guys can come together and talk about this relationship and get it off the ground in the way that it needs to. Because there is some equal give and take here. There are feelings here. There's true love. There's soulmate. But someone's just uncertain about if this person is the one. If they can work it out. If they can deal with it. If they can work through the differences. Okay, so that is what I have for you, Pisces. I will see you guys on your next reading. Love and light. Bye, Pisces.